Good afternoon, teachers, staff members, loved ones, my mom, and most importantly, the graduating class of 2007. I'm truly honored to be addressing my peers today, and I thank you for allowing me to speak at this magnificent occasion, which will forever be, forever be embedded in our minds. I'd first like to congratulate all of my fellow classmates who have persevered thus far to receive that ornate piece of paper that is a gateway to fulfilling our dreams and our destinies. Yes, I'm talking about the diploma. I'd also like to offer my condolences to those juniors, sophomores, and freshmen who will be back in high school next year. I truly and deeply feel sorry for you wherever you are, but your day will come. Today, however, belongs to us. It's amazing to think of how far we've come in terms of what we've been through and how these experiences have shaped our lives. A mere four years ago, we were tiny freshmen, infesting the halls of Bean Branch, not really knowing who we were or where life would take us. In these four years, we have seen the unthinkable, such as the horrific images from the war in Iraq, the earth shattering, such as the proclamation that Pluto is in fact not a planet, as well as life altering, such as the ingenious creations of YouTube, Facebook, and Chipotle. <laughs> we spent countless troublesome nights studying and finishing those projects that were assigned months earlier, each time promising ourselves that we would never let it happen again. Life has kept moving for us though, and we've continued to struggle and excel in order to reach this moment that we are at today. As good as it feels to finally get here, let me remind you that we all have a long way to go in order to make our dreams come true. And speaking of dreams, I, a couple of months ago, I, along with several other seniors, had the honor of hearing the president of UMBC, Dr. Freeman Hubrowski, speak. While the majority of his speech is still a blur, I do, however, remember the poem that he recited to us. The poem, written by Langston Hughes, goes, Hold fast to dreams, for when dreams, for if dreams die, life is a broken-winged bird that cannot fly. Hold fast to dreams, for when dreams go, life is a barren field, frozen with snow. And so what did Hughes mean by this poem? He meant, make your dreams a reality no matter what it takes. If you're just dying to major in ancient studies, do it. You might be penniless in 10 years, but you'll be happy. <laughs> and let's say if your life's greatest ambition has been to bobsled in the Winter Olympics, go for it. We all have a limited amount of time to make our mark in this world, and we must use this opportunity to our advantage. For everyone here, those of you who've become corporate tycoons, experts in your field, or better yet, kind and generous human beings, remember this, no matter how far we go or what we become, we will always be Paint Branch High School's Class of 2007. Congratulations and good luck to us all.